What's up guys, it's Chris. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, but one thing that uh, I've been thinking about a lot lately uh, are these uh, two, early 2000s, mid 2000s Marvel Mad Engine Tees. I've been picking these up. You'll be able to easily tell what they are because I got this big tag here. Uh, the graphics are always super detailed, super sick. Um, but the one thing I wanted to talk about is um, how to kind of get an idea of the date on some of these. Now, uh, none of these are going to be like 90s. They're all going to be like, you know, 2001, 2002 till about 2012, I believe, is when they started to phase out the tags. Um it's like 2011 2012 so that's when you're going to start seeing you know the screen printed uh uh transfers in the nape and they got rid of the tags um so here we have this is a very early mad engine t all right now uh first of all, i'll just show you the very very subtle differences in the tags themselves all right now this brown one here this is a uh, ghost rider this is a 2006 2007 um this is the tag that you'll most likely see. But look at the, the difference in the, the size of the, the print, the, uh, the font here for the Mad Engine. So this the white one here, Spidey, this is a 2002. All right, and you'll see all of your early Mad Engines. A lot of them will have the timestamp on the shirt, but... A lot of them don't. Most of these Mad Engine tees won't have a timestamp. So what you can look for is the uh, the bigger Mad Engine logo at the top. You can also see this one is just like paper, um, and then this is the actual like kind of like knit woven tag, and um, yeah. So that's a that's one of the easiest ways to tell. Um, but the other thing is, uh, not all of the old Mad Engines are going to be on this. Um, I also have another one right here. Uh, you can see it is the uh, the tag like that. Um, so that's that's one way to tell very easily. Um, of course, if it has a tag, um, it is pretty easy right now to find a lot of these uh, dead stock with the tags. So the tags will always have the date on them. So uh, this one you see is 2002. But if you're out thrifting or at the flea market or yard sales, whatever, uh, and you find some used ones, uh, one of the ways you can tell, a lot of the older Mad Engine stuff, they really went crazy with it. And you can look and they'll, they'll, you can see this is, uh, has this like shiny gloss print. You see there's glitter details, all right? They really went all out with the old ones. So if you find one that's got like all these crazy details like that, like the glitter, the gloss print, this one even has a little uh, sleeve print on it. It says Spider-Man on the sleeve. A lot of the earlier ones have all these really crazy details. And then, um, you know, you're looking at maybe like a window of just a, a few years where they really went off with all the details and stuff. And you'll see the, the early ones will have the timestamp. But like I said, more often than not, than not, it won't have a timestamp. So like this Ghost Rider here. There's no timestamp. There's no nothing. We have the tag on it, and the tag says 06. Okay, that's fine. But we just got to remember to look for the, mo most importantly, lo look for the difference in size of the Mad Engine on here. Right? Put them side by side again so you can see. See the older one, uh, the Mad Engine logo is a lot more bold and also the paper tag so really subtle differences nothing crazy but more more often than not you're going to be seeing this tag um and this is basically the same tag that they used for probably like eight to ten years um like i said it was around 2011 2012 is when they started phasing the tags out and that's when you're going to see all your newer stuff with the screen print on there uh and that's that's when things get really hard to uh kind of date you know anytime after that you know uh can be difficult and the other thing i don't have one of the shirts here but uh, a lot of the uh later ones will have 2011 written under the tag so keep an eye out for that also um you might find one that was like kind of uh at the cutoff point there and it'll have the date 
under the tag. So I think that's like all the information I have on this on this stuff that I can think of off the top of my head. But it's just one thing that's been like uh, kind of on my mind lately. So hopefully this is helpful for you if you're out in the wild looking for this stuff. Uh, and uh, these are really cool shirts anyway. So you should be looking for them. They're sick and they're cheap right now. Pick them up, hold on to them, sell them, whatever you want to do. But they're they're awesome shirts. So thanks for watching.